Does anybody uh, collect anything? Do we have any uh, collectors uh, uh, in the crowd here? Uh, no, a few collectors? Uh, you see, there was a man who uh, was a collector, and I'm going to show you what his favorite collection piece was. But before we do this, uh, the, I mean, do you believe that uh, a coincidence is really a, a little magical thing taking place? Could be. Huh? Could be? Could be. What an amazing coincidence. That's the very thing that I think. I think, well, could be. Uh, you know, uh, with, that, uh, with that going for us, would you mind having a little experiment uh, in uh, coincidental behavior? I knew you would. Uh, uh, so here, I tell you what, I'm going to just take a, a card at random here, and I'm going to riffle down with my thumb. You say stop anytime you want. Stop. Right there. Okay. You want to go further? No. I knew you would. That's an amazing <laughs> coincidence. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on to that. Uh, well, we're going to give you one more chance. I want you to insert that card anywhere. Now, look at all the different options that, uh, for, for inserting that card. Uh, there's, there's a full 50 different places that you can place it, but insert that card into the deck anywhere you'd like. Are you sure that's where you want to pull it? I'm sure that's where I want it to be. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It's, a, it's an amazing, the, the amount of coincidences that are taking place. Now, you've got the ace of spades. Isn't it interesting that the card that I predicted in advance just happened to be the perfect mate of that ace of spades? And even more important than that, down here, you have sandwiched in between your ace of wow. spades the, all four aces, wow. and that's quite a coincidence. What do you figure? <laughs> Uh, now, so does, uh, to get back to what I was saying earlier, does anybody here have any uh, collections uh, that they stamps, uh, coins, baseball cards? You, you stamp collectors, anybody? Uh, what do you collect? New dollars. New, brand new dollars. <laughs> Brand new single. You know, you get, you know, I, in Vegas, they actually had a barbed wire collector's <laughs> convention. So, I mean, there's no counting for what people could, you will collect. But there was a man uh, who was quite famous inside of Magic whose name was Henry Crist. And throughout his entire life, he just collected tricks that have to do with four aces. And this is his favorite effect throughout his life, and I'll show it to you right now. All you have to do is take uh, the aces, divide them into a few uh, piles like this, and you take the aces and you place them back into the deck into random positions. You can go ahead and push that in for me. There you go. The next to go is going to be the ace of diamonds. There you go. Uh, you can uh, do me the honors there. Very good. Next to go is going to be the uh, ace of hearts. I tell you what, let's uh, bring a little randomizing in here in case you think there's some sort of prearrangements. And now the ace of clubs is going to be the last to go. And by golly, can't get much more fair than that, can you? And the magic starts right away as the first card um, turns face up. Actually, uh, that's an indicator card. Um, indicating that I, uh, I, I blew it. <laughs> no, 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 that indicates that just seven cards away, if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we actually arrive at the first ace. Now, we can actually save a step in that little process. See, if I take the cards and I snap, we can bypass that indicator card and go straight for the next ace. And if we now try to find it at the next one, an even more random way, we'll spell A-C-E. O F H E A R T S, the next ace, the ace of hearts. Now that leaves us just one more ace to go, and it was at this point that he would get a little fancy on him, as he would give the cards what they called the razzle dazzle cut to arrive at the fourth wow. and the final ace. Wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <And me? laughs>